Welcome to my channel. Today we'll understand line of symmetry. Take a square paper, fold the paper into two equal parts, cut the semicircle from the paper, unfold the paper. So we'll get two equal halves and you will get a line of symmetry which is vertical. So now let us see some objects with one line of symmetry. Let us take heart, draw a vertical line. So you will get two equal halves along this vertical line. If you cut the heart shape horizontally, then you do not get equal halves along the horizontal line. So we don't have horizontal line of symmetry. So in the heart shape, we have one line of symmetry. Let us take one more example. Let us take the shape of moon. If you draw the horizontal line passing from the middle, you will get two equal halves along the horizontal line. So we can say we have horizontal line of symmetry. Now, if you take the same moon shape and if you cut it vertically, you do not get two equal halves. There is no vertical line of symmetry. So in the moon shape, we have one line of symmetry. Let us take one more example. Let us take the shape of arrow, draw the vertical line passing from the middle. So you will get two equal halves along the vertical line. So we can say we have vertical line of symmetry. Now if you take the same arrow and if you cut it horizontally, you will not get two equal halves. So there is no horizontal line of symmetry. So in this shape also we have one line of symmetry. Now let us take the example of two lines of symmetry. Let us take first rectangle. Draw a vertical line passing from the middle. So we'll get two equal halves along the vertical line. So we can say we have vertical line of symmetry. Same way, draw a horizontal line passing from the middle. Again, you will get two equal halves along this horizontal line. So we have also horizontal line of symmetry. So we have two lines of symmetry in the rectangle. Let us take one more example. Let us take this shape. Draw the horizontal line passing from the middle. So you will get two equal halves along this horizontal line. So we have horizontal line of symmetry. Same way, draw the vertical line passing from the middle. Again, you will get two equal halves along the vertical line also. So we have two lines of symmetry in this object. Let us take example of three lines of symmetry. So in this equilateral triangle in which all the sides are equal, we'll get three lines of symmetry passing from the corner or the vertex of the triangle. Let us take example of four lines of symmetry. Let us take the shape of square. If you draw the vertical line passing from the middle, you will get two equal halves along the vertical line. Similarly, if you draw horizontal line passing from the middle, you will get two equal halves along the horizontal line also. If you draw a diagonal line passing from the top left corner, which is connected with bottom right corner, again you will get two equal halves along this diagonal line. Similarly, if you draw a diagonal line passing from 
bottom left corner to top right corner again you will get two equal halves along the diagonal line so we can say in the square we have four lines of symmetry now similar to that if you take hexagon then in hexagon if you draw the line passing from the sides of the hexagon you will get three lines of symmetry similarly if you draw the lines passing through the corners or vertex of the hexagon you will get another three lines of symmetry so in total we have six lines of symmetry in the hexagon hexagon has six sides in the circle you can get several lines of symmetry so we can say we have many or infinite lines of symmetry in the circle now there are also many objects in which there is no line of symmetry like this shape if you draw a vertical line you don't get a symmetry if you draw horizontal line you don't get any symmetry if you draw a diagonal line you don't get any symmetry so we don't have any lines of symmetry in this kind of shape thanks for watching the video please like the video and subscribe the channel for more updates